Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are playing Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. It's the new chapter. I've been very, very excited about this and it literally came out like less than an hour ago. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go straight into it. I'm gonna hope for the best that the, everything's good. The sound, the audio, the, the lighting, chat, you guys can let me know if it's not. Everyone here is saying hello. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, just a reminder, I stream all my games live. So if you ever want to catch it live, you just come over to my Twitch. Oh! If you would like to continue, continue watching on... Oh, this is all the chapters. Um, new game. If you would like to continue watching on YouTube, that's totally fine too. Um, and also, thank you so much for the bits. Whoever that was that chose to embarrass me, both here and on YouTube, I, I, I appreciate you guys. It wouldn't be a Koji video without me getting humbled and embarrassed. Okay, December 8th. <gasps> I needed coffee to get done with the day. Okay, space to get up. We're gonna go make a coffee. I'm so excited, like genuinely. It's been a while since fears we played a Fears to Fathom. They end too soon every time. I have no idea how long this game is. I haven't watched anyone else play it because it's literally just dropped, just come out. G to throw. Wait, I don't think I need to throw though. It needed water. Wait, but don't we need to pick up the... I guess we could fill a... Wait, I can hear someone humming. Do you guys hear that? I do have my headphones on really, really loud, but... Hopefully you guys can hear that. There's, there's like someone humming through the wall. Um, how are we going to get water in the machine? I guess we could just fill up a cup, right? Hi, pineapple. Good to see you. How are you? Okay. And then... We've got a lovely, fresh coffee right there. Okay, I'm actually going to turn up my headphones even more. I'm, I'm very down to get, like, immersed and terrified today. I'm in, I'm in the mood for this. I need to just put on a lid. Okay. That is incredibly, incredibly wasteful. This office should be so ashamed of themselves for having plastic lids in an office. What is that all about? Rice mouse, rice, rice mouse, <laughs> rice mouse button, right mouse button to sip. Well, let's have a sip while enjoying this amazing city view. Where do you think we are in the world chat? Maybe America? My mum's house? Bro, you think if my mum owned this as a house, I'd be streaming? I'd be somewhere on a beach, reading a book and never working a day in my life and never doing anything but just sitting on a beach. <laughs> to be honest, I'd still, that's such a lie. I'd still stream and I'd still play games. <laughs> I would literally just sit at home and play games all day. Even if I was a millionaire, I would just sit at home and play games all the time. <laughs> um, am I supposed to go back to my desk or am I just like really enjoying this coffee and a break from it? I think I'm just enjoying my coffee. Loving the ASMR. Loving hearing this person drink so much. My God, we don't want to drink this too fast. We might get a, we might get a, a caffeine rush. I was done with it. Well, let's put it in the bin. Nice. Wait, someone's typing over here. Hey, you're here late. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Oh, are you okay? You seem a little bit twitchy. Um, I was just checking if you needed anything. I'm sorry. What a rude guy. Uh, I was just checking if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their mind? I know! What keeps you here so late again? Uh, just finalizing the report. You didn't want to say good luck with that before you turned around? I know you're pretending to work right now. There's no way you're using the F keys and number keys that much. There's no way. Okay, we're unprompted actually. I'm not really I'm not really sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing. If I press escape, it says Escape wait, if I press escape it says no battery. For what? What would you press escape for that required a battery? Maybe a, a, 
a camera? A, an, some kind of like tablet? Oh, is it I have to pee? I'm so sorry, I, I must have missed that. We'll go on the PC afterwards. It does say had to be at the bottom. I'm so sorry, guys. Like I said at the start of the stream today, the uh, the ADHD just seems to be unhinged today. I'm guessing this isn't the way to the toilets because it's invisible walling me. This is like The Sims. It's just so realistic. <laughs> God, I can't wait for that Innsway to come out. Did you see that? It's like The Sims, but you actually like get to go to the jobs and do them all and stuff. It looked amazing. Um, I actually don't know which toilet is the one for us. I have no idea. I couldn't do it with the door wide open. Okay. What's, what's that on the right? Oh, what about my second bladder? That one's also full. <laughs> Holy shit, that hurt my throat, guys. Oh my god, that really scared me. Wow. And then this guy's just smiling like that. It looks like he's cut out a picture from a poster and stuck it over his face with sellotape. Like, that doesn't... Doesn't look right. You know what it's giving a little bit though? You guys remember Limp Biscuit, Fred Durst? Where he'd always wear the backwards NY hat? It's giving a little bit of Fred Durst. Whoa, mom. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. I should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Um, can I interest you in a, in a meow meow experience for 10, 10 gifted so No, I... I shouldn't. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even mentioned it. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Yes, you should have knocked. Um, do I really want to be putting the creepy toilet guy in his place? Mm, yeah. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you... Oh, I was peeing loud as well. Like, that was an intentional pee in... <laughs> Miles, you already had a Meow Meow experience today. Surely you can't want another one. Surely. Surely not. There's no way, right? Um, why are you so frustrated? We'll come back to this, Miles, I promise. Give me a sec. Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Well, yeah, that's me, actually. That wasn't. We put it in the bin. Yeah, that's really rude. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Well, hey, you have a... You have a good night. <clears throat> I would just like to profusely... Apo you're back. You just told me you had to leave and now you're... Now you're back. Yeah, you're trying to spy on me. You're either trying to do one of three things. Look under or over the toilet when I'm in there. Trying to smell my pee. Or just trying to watch me in the bathroom. I, I don't know what it is, but it's one of them. Um, but unfortunately, he didn't gift 10 subs. So he doesn't get a meow meow experience. And I've got to make sure he's not in the room while we're doing it. Leave. I would get this done faster if you'd leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm trying to do it. No freebies. <clears throat> Miles up! Thank you, you so much for the ten, ten meow meows. I heart you. You didn't hear or see anything. You didn't hear or see anything. Miles, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. You are actually our phone's ringing. You are truly incredible, and I really appreciate you. Genuinely. That's actually from the heart, man. Pineapple, like, can I interest you? It's, it's, it's a measly. It's only 10 gift. It's... <laughs> Yo. Hello? 
go for Sydney Harper. Who's this? Hello. Um, hello. Hey, Arp, it's Mike. Hey, I've Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Um. Oh, that's why we've got dead battery. It's our phone. My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. Huh. Huh. No. Uh, wait, we could just leave this and be completely silent, or we could say no, it even cut on a client earlier. Wait, multiple people just said he sounds like Saikuno at the same time. I've got to listen to him speak more now. I'm, I'm going to say nothing, so he... We're going to do a power play. We're just going to be quiet and let him ramble. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wait, it... Um... Wow, this is so awkward. He doesn't sound like Saikuno. I'd say he has t uh, similar speaking mannerisms, but his voice is nothing like Saikuno's. They just talk similar. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's <laughs> getting kind of late. It's literally Saikuno with a voice changer. That's what it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? Work has been overwhelming lately. Just more overtime. Work has been overwhelming lately. Let's do that. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. That's creepy. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Um. Oh, wait, so he's not just some creep. We're, like, planning a trip with him and everything. Okay, I was going to do it after No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey. Yep. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Absolutely Nora not. and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Um, I should really make the booking right, now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. It's okay. All right. I understand. Talk to you later, Harp. All right, talk to you later. Bro was a yapper. Non-stop yaps. Okay, let's see what we've been up to here. We've got a search browser, spreadsheets. Um, not really sure what all this is. Doesn't look very interesting. We've also got type invader reloaded. Sylvie, thank you so much for the 25 months. Great to see you. I hope you're doing good. Do I type here? Um, draw. Whoa. This is cool. Egg sister. Collect. Rather. Easy. You think you can mess with me? I'm the best typer in the world. I don't know how accuracy is 94%. I made a mistake yet. Okay, I did make a mistake then. 100 HP chat. This is the best typing game I've ever played in my life. I could get so addicted to this. What the frick? Rub behind? Experiment nature eight half pink. What are these words, man? It's so hard to type because they're so unpredictable. Thank God for all those years of RuneScape selling lobsters 90 GP each. Selling lobsters 90 GP each. Selling lobsters 90 GP each. We beat the game. That was incredible. It was too easy. Unable to execute fatal error. Okay, that's our spreadsheets. Unable. That's the game. 
It's the browser. Unable to execute. Um, is that... Oh, it's only 8.20pm. It's not that late. Okay, what are we supposed to do now then? That was cool. I liked that typing game. They should make that into a full game. I'd play that. I don't think I've ever... Hey, what's up? I've got enough on my plate right now. Okay, I'm sorry. What are we supposed to do then? Um, Taru, thank you so much for gifting us up to Gracie Orr, by the way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Phone battery's dead. We've done everything we could do on our computer. I guess we'll just go have a little explore. I needed to book the cabin. Oh, I am actually supposed to, like, genuinely book the cabin myself. Okay. How's this going to work then? Oh. Oh, right. No matter what I type, it does that. <laughs> cool. Where are you going? Woodbury, of course. Uh, $350 a night, peaceful cabin. It's got to be under $100. It's got to be under $100. It's got, it's got two reviews, three stars. Uh, I mean, it's got better reviews than that one, actually. That one's got really good reviews. I mean... They did ask for it to be under $100 a night. I, I wouldn't want to be non-inclusive and not let anyone be able to afford to come. We're going to have to go for this one. Private cabin in Woodbury. 3.1 stars, two reviews, two bedroom, two beds, three guests, one and a half shared bathrooms. Great. Booking confirmed. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. What? When I was in my early tw 20s, I worked at a big consulting, consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my colleague friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. Is that Canada? I think so. I don't know. And my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and we'd, we'd be back on Monday. It's not in Massachusetts. I've been there. It's not in Massachusetts. I've been there. Mike came to pick me up. It's a US state. Oh, same thing. Hey, you're looking happy. Are you Mike? Nice to meet you, Mike. What are you playing there? Oh, you're not Mike. Never mind. Wait, escape to hang up. Okay. Michael. Oh, God. Um... Okay, we've got a message from Michael. Just booked. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. Are you downstairs yet? Ah, you must be Mike. Put that in the back for me, darling. i got to read a message. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December the 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Look forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yep, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting in. Have a safe trip. Wait, Mike, that's really rude. I asked you to put this in there for me. Harp. Wait, why does he look so familiar? Harp. Hug, okay. 
What's going on? That's still how you hug people? Sorry, I'm being judged for how I hugged you now? Or Why don't you hug me like you missed me? That's not a... This isn't weird. Um... I don't understand. We're just friends that work together. Why are you being so weird? Uh, we can either do a long hug or say nothing or... It's just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Um... Uh... Ch fair enough, chuckle. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. You're weird. Um... I'm gonna choose to not hug you. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Yeah, I mean, that's the... F the fact that you don't want to help... You want a long hug, but you won't help me with my bag is the reason I'm not giving you a long hug, you absolute freak. Okay. All right, then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Um, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right, then, Harp. Wait. This is weird. This is strange. I'm not... I'm not liking the vibes. 4.26 p.m. I got a feeling the, um... Was it Sydney? I got a feeling the other person isn't coming. It was starting to snow. This was actually a gift from my co-worker, Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale, and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. I guess it's it's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Yeah, sure, okay. Do you, so do you, do you, um, so do you got any music? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college. And now we are here, trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get into the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Uh, how's, how's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Our rent a cabin host is texting us. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do. We consult. That sounds like important work. Okay, what was the relevance of that school bus? It really wanted us to see that. Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a, a school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Okay. Um, rent a cabin owner Rick Wilson has messaged us. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The road's near Woodbury. What? Oh. oh, snap! That fucker came out of nowhere! <laughs> you know. I read on the internet that I, in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. What? In in a good way or a bad way? Um, the roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow sh the snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Will do. Will do. Uh. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. Imagine if we had to sit for an hour and a half real lifetime in this car with this guy. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Chat, I'm going to leave you with this wonderful view of this guy while I go pee. Um, I'm going to move this just so you can see everything. I want you to be able to see all of him. Um, there you go. And uh, enjoy this POV of a relaxing evening snowy car drive while you're doing whatever else you're up to at the moment, and I will be right back. I'm just gonna go pee, and if you have not taken your meds or your vitamins yet today, and it's an appropriate time to do so, you should do that right now. I will be right back. Okay. Let us continue. 
Uh, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Um, I'm ignoring the scatterers. What do you mean by that? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. All ignore chat. No attention for you scatterers. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You better assemble right now. Stars and galaxies rushing past us. I mean... Yeah, I guess. It's kind of beautiful. What? This falling snow has always been beautiful. Why are we acting like this is a revelation? It's, it's gorgeous. Of course it is. It's... It always has been. It always was and it always will be. Okay, 5.14pm. God, we're not there yet. Please, we need to be there. Oh, Dairy Mart. You think they have anything non-dairy for... Yo, Harp, check that out. What? Oh, Moe's Pizza. Wait, okay, pizza does sound kind of good right now. Nice park, man. Nice park. I was going to say, you ought to turn them lights off. You're blinding the poor customers. You know, Harp, I got to tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Is it... Is it in your brain? I, I don't see a GPS. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's, uh... It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Landing! Wait, our bag's gonna be like a icicle. Okay, look, chat. He's a little bit creepy, but I don't think he's gonna- Oh, they got a veggie pizza. I don't think he's gonna kill us. Come on in, Harp. Thank you. Well, you're in luck. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards- No, the bag was there, I think, chat. I think it slid to, slid to the back. I'm pretty sure. Are you Mo? Who's Mo? Mo's special with pepperoni and mushroom, 20% off. Evening, folks. Looks like the Colts got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? Um, we'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Oh, I do love places where you can get, like, individual slices. Uh, it's honestly... Chat. It, I think it's quite common in, like, the States, right? But in the UK, I never see places that do pizza by the individual slice. I don't know why. It's so, it's like so rare here. But in, in lots of other parts of Europe, it's really common too. I love individual slices. Um, and for you, I'll have a... I'll have a veggie slice, please. I think I'll... You got any vegan meat? Uh, vegan pepperoni? Yeah, I'll have that, please. Most special? Has it got special sauce? I'll have that as well, please. Any drinks for you folks? Oh, can you put loads of basil on my pizza? Um, also, do you have any uh, Rubi Rubicon? Any Rubicon mango? I think the game broke. That should cover us. Thanks to the pizza. Uh, just for the, just the pizza today, thanks. Wait, I wanted a drink! Alright then, six hot slices coming right up. Thank you so much, Mo. $22? Bargain. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Thank you so much. Hey guys, how's the pizza? Interesting. Something's... Oh, there's an advert for rent a cabin up there. Wait, what's this? Friends... Wait, who's this? Friends 3 ever. Wait, this is a group chat? Hold on, what's all this? Oh my god, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. This is... Oh, it's Nora. Baxter got pregnant and now they're... Why is that guy making that noise? Let me guess, Baxter got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now, a birth announcement that says, the force is strong with this one. Mikey, lol lol. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't even get an invitation. Mike, you are the biggest nerd I know. 
other than Baxter. He would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. The Beatles. Ugh, I, I've only just noticed how many people are, like, eating in the background, and it's really freaking me out now. Oh, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Right? Oh, actually, I genuinely can't listen to that now I've heard it. Oh, my fucking God. Um... Where did we get to? Wow, this is just so many messages, guys. I uh, I don't know if we should... I mean, we must need to read it all, right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met a Beatles tribute concert in... Oh, they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. Too stinking cute. That is goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Blah. Seriously, I feel a girl. May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically just zombies at this point. Exactly. And I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Cyra... Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not for the same kind of Baxter had for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house this winter, somewhere in Vermont maybe? We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we can get high. <laughs> I'm sure one of my old contacts would come through. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. I love it. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from all the stress. No work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip, but with Mike, lol. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll get back to you. I'll get back with you after I think, I think it over. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's that spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in. But there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking the lead on booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me, book the cabin, I suppose. I'm excited. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Gumi? Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Sounds like Lily Pichu. I... I don't... Is it actually Lily? I don't think I... I don't know if I've ever watched Lily Pichu. I don't know what uh, Lily sounds like. It just sounded like Gumi to me. Uh, Nora says, that's no problem. We'll, we'll make sure we get... Work no cool today. What? Jazzman, what did you even say? You're so hard to understand. A woo, sorry at work. No cool a woo today. Oh, it's okay. You're forgiven this this one time. Uh, we've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you're getting when you get going, okay? Wait, is it actually Lily? Does anyone know? It's so cool if so. I remember that one game we played. The ink machine, Bendy and the ink machine or something. It had um Jack Septic Eye in it. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. <sighs> it smells like fart. Or is that the guy that's behind me, maybe? Oh, wait, friends forever messaged in the group chat. Oh no. Please tell me Nora's not. Oh you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can, but something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but it's I Lily for sure. Them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Hop stays up to let you in. Okay, we gotta leave this pizza restaurant. All I can hear is people eating behind me. It's freaking me out. Yeah, I listened to the voice message. It looks like she's, she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. Guys, I really want to do a voice in a horror game. Please. Horror game devs, reach out to me, man. I want to do it. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, you're talking about Dr. Ruggs, aren't you? I can't listen to these guys eating behind me anymore. I'm literally going to have a panic attack. Order number 27. Your folk 
You folks are right here. Thank God. Should we eat in the car? Thank you so much, Mo. Oh, you want to eat here? You want to eat? All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Koro. Can you voice my new indie horror game, Koji's Revenge? That title goes hard, though. Oh, the vegan pepperoni is good here, actually. Yeah, yum. Oh, damn, this pizza slaps. Hey, you said it. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? This is literally torture. Can we leave, Mike? I'm actually having the worst fucking holiday ever. Can we just go home? Can we go home? Oh, I'm actually, chat, we have to finish it. Hey there, my friends. Oh. Hello. I saw y'all pull, pull up in that, driving that nice old truck. Hey, are you just watching and and watching who pulls in and taking notes? Or that's right. Let's just let's just keep this simple. I don't want any hostility. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Oh, were you now? What's rolled up in that backpack? Knives. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Oh, we actually turned back to come back to this pizza place. We're actually going the other way. You'll mind if I hitch a, lit a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? We're not... We're not friends. Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. Well, now you say that... Sure, you can come with us. <laughs> so what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down the snowy road? Sure, I'd love to. Hold on a second says Mike. Doesn't, don't you think we need to discuss this? Uh, sure. Feel free to jump in, Mike. I'm not sure if we have the extra space for another passenger. Oh, sorry. I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. Um. I, I, I I don't want to drop Mike in it, because as much as Mike's a bit of a creep, I don't want this guy to attack him. We would give you a ride, but there isn't any space. you got to be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people met unkindness them meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Keep an eye on that guy. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride us- ride with us in- <laughs> ride us? Ride with us in the middle of the night. Oh, in the middle of nowhere. Um, I was- I was just trying to help. Yeah. Well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. Alright, Dad. Can we just get the fuck out of this pizza shop, please? I'm actually gonna have a panic attack. Damn, Harp. You actually eat the crust? I'd eat that. I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess. But you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Yeah, because it's not the same thing. You know what the best thing to do with pizza is? Take a bite of the crust every time you take a bite of the soft part. You either fold it up or roll it up or just take a bite of it if you hold it normally and then bite the crust. Or save the crusts and dunk them in, in a garlic and herb dip. I'm dribbling so much, it's insane. My mouth is literally full of saliva right now. Who doesn't like a bit of crunch with their meal? It's all soft otherwise. Right mouse button to burp, space to get up. That pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Uh. Wait, if Lily voiced this, does that mean she had to do those burps as well? <laughs> oh, the group chat's popping off. Can we... Uh...
We need to leave. We need to get the hell out of here. This is not... These aren't real people. Mike, are you one of them? What's going on? Mike, we need to leave. Now. Mike. <clears throat> I saved you. I had you. I, I backed you up. Let's go. Mike, what the, what the fuck are you doing? We're supposed to put this in the bin, maybe? Oh, okay. Holy, that was good. <clears throat> All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. Oh, take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if when we get there. I booked it! Whatever. Truck key is acquired. Now, what are we going to do if we see the hitchhiker? I think we're going to have to run him over, chat. I don't think we have any other choice. Thank you for the follows, by the way. I suppose if you're new to the stream, don't forget to follow. It's free. 5.49 p.m. Oh, jeez! This is your host on WKWB. Your hometown station. Sorry about that. Just kidding. It's been a while since I've been behind the wheel. We were in America. Jesus, I'm sorry. Wait, no, this side. Nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you. So sorry. Uh, I grew up in London. I only ever drove in London. I do remember. Fears to fathom. Some of the earlier games had like really good music in them. There's the police. <gasps> Are they pulling us over? This game is always such good music in these games. We made it actually put off a pedal to the metal. Those cops might be chasing us. Sorry, Mike, just put your, just put your belt on. Strap in, darling. Wait, Woodbury was that way. We're going towards the lake and I'm stuck in conversation right now. I told you driving in the snow is no joke. It sounds like... It reminds me of Palfu, but it's not Palfu. But I really like Palfu. I don't know if you guys know Palfu. Bumped a hickey and pulled a flat, or whatever you guys say in America. Fuck. I think, I think the address was two four one Woodbury Boulevard. Yeah. Wait. Are you suggesting? Wait. Is this it? <laughs> I don't know, chat. Whatever you guys say for a flat tire, something like that. supposed to do what are we doing wait that is powerful wait is the game glitched powerful is really good if you guys don't know who Palfu is, you you do because there was that one song that went really viral back in the TikTok days. It was "Don't Go to You Know Deathbed." It was like, "Don't stay awake for too long. Don't go to bed." Harp, you sure we can park here? Uh, I don't know. We're in the middle of the road. I think, I think the address was too guys. I think the game's broken. Frick. It's always got my back I need time from the hills and the monsters I feel like they all have a The thing is, it's actually not my fault the car crashed over here The, like, the car started spinning towards the river because it pulled me into a dialogue with this guy I could spend a year alone and never miss a soul I could try my hardest 
Palfu actually goes so fucking hard. Bro, I'm not trying to- I'm not trying to park here. I don't know what's- I don't know what's happening. Do you want to take the keys? I'm freaking out. You drive. Oh, guys, it's actually like fucked. I think Holy schnookums. I need time, I need remedies lately. Duck hole? Ducky JT, thank you so much for the bits. Good to see you, man. I'll let you off because I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing great. Guys, we're like completely stuck. There's no way this is supposed to happen in this game. Did we actually pull a hickey? I'm getting out here because the car's stuck, Mike. You're not doing anything to help. I've told you a million times the car's stuck, Mike. We're actually completely stuck, chat. If I ult F4 the game, I don't know if it's going to save our progress, guys. There's no, like, escape to main menu. The game's just sponsoring the artists. Gotta make sure we listen to all the music. We're, we're fully cooked, guys. We're actually, like, completely stuck. That, uh, this is me trying to reverse chat. I try reversing in any direction. Nothing. This is me going forwards. This is, that's all it does. Same thing every time. What is our game lock? Bro, that's what I'm saying. No, it uh, unfortunately, guys, it actually moves like that every time. And then it goes back to where it was. And we demanded to drive as well. No, chat, I'm holding the I got chat, I promise you, I'm holding the gas, man. It just stops making the revving noise. I don't know why. We're, we're carrying the bags. We're carrying the bags. Get your bags, Mike. Get your bag. Oh, fuck, we can't. Okay. Maybe... Maybe if you helps me push Mike instead of just watching me, we could get back on the road. How does that sound? This is truly a nightmare if it happened in real life. No. Chat, imagine a game where you're driving in like the snow in the middle of a really like dark forest and your car breaks down and you have to survive a night and it's like people driving past and stuff. That could actually be a really good horror game. Genuinely. I think we have to quit. I think we have to restart the game, guys. I wonder if I'm the only person this will happen to. I think we're gonna have to start from the beginning, though, chat. We are. Wait! Wait, it just made me get out of the car. I didn't even press that. It does have checkpoints. Okay, guys, we're just gonna have to quit. We are stuck. Okay, I can't actually send messages anyway. Oh, I didn't actually read the messages just between us and Nora. We should read those at some point because I want to know like what our relationship is and stuff. Oh, fears to fathom, please. Please, what is with all the game bugs lately? We are really unlucky, man. Yes! Even this game made by one solo single developer has saveable checkpoints. You really need to take note of this, Frank Stone developers. 
You really do. Super massive games. Evening, I love you, but what the fuck? This is your host on All right. We're your skirting. Let's go. I'm going pedal to the metal this time. No messing around. Taking the wide swing on the turn. Wait, that's not the turn. Never mind. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do it again. I even saw the sign when I was driving past it last time. Wait, no police this time? Is the traffic randomized? I don't wanna talk about what's wrong or right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me up on the mic, spitting what I like. I've been reminiscing on friends I'm missing. Maybe I can find him if this is like the song is nice. We're absolutely sending him up. Pop, are you okay? Do you want me to take over? No. What? Literally. Are you okay? Nothing happened. I think Mike's already on those dog drugs or something, Jack. He's tripping. He's tripping. Where are we going? Um. Do you remember the address? Uh, 241 Woodbury Boulevard. These houses don't even have numbers, man. How are we gonna... Where's this GPS you were talking about as well? It doesn't even exist. I... Guys, I guess we just have to guess. Wait, is that it over there? Wait, no. Oh, shit. Any help, Mike? Where's that GPS system? Really Maybe I should go walk over the mountains, find a new Is this your playlist, Mike? I'm impressed. I, it's, it's a good playlist. I could spend a Wait. Alone and never miss a soul. Is that it? I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my goals. No. I know that I'll be more love inside my Is heart. that it? I think that might be it. I think, I think this is it. I Two for one. This is it. Good time to start. Where's the... Good time Where do I park? Let's just park in front of the house, I guess. Good time to start. Here we are. My legs fell asleep. One second. Sure. It was a very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. This is not a little house. This is huge. What? Oh, door was locked. Have to get the key from the lockbox. 5176. Did anyone end up playing that piano game? Uh, the white tiles game again, chat, after I streamed yesterday? I've been thinking about it a little bit. Did. Home sweet home. Wait, it's cute here. Okay, firstly, this place is huge. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the John. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. The house was cozy and well furnished. Serious question though, chat. Would this actually like genuinely be considered a small house in, in the States? Because this is like genuinely like a... This is a big house. I'd say as far as houses in the UK go, I'd consider this big. In Vermont, yes. I guess, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like it's... I guess it would be state dependent. Because it's not like this... Like in New York, this would probably be like 10 zillion dollars, right? Oh, I need to stock the fridge first, of course. I'm a little bit angsty because Rick Wilson wanted us to check in. We have arrived. I tried to. I did try to. Um, where did... um? Oh, it's there. It's right there. Frey! Frey, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. If you guys don't already know Frey, where, firstly, where the hell have you been? Secondly, 
I don't know if you guys have seen it, you probably have, but Frey just moved into her incredible new office and her streams look insane. She literally has the best streaming office I've ever seen in my life, so you have to go check that out for that reason alone. You can um, follow Frey wherever your chat is uh, at the top of the chat. Um, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Did you play this today, Frey? I don't know if you've played Fears to Fathom, but I know you love your horror games. Um, Fears to Fathom just drops a new chapter if you didn't know. Um, such good games. Prayer's the best office in the best library. Bro, when I saw that library, my jaw like hit the floor. It's insane. Did you not play this today, Frey? You played The Walking Dead? Okay, well you can look forward to playing this tomorrow. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, um, oh, right mouse button to open. How did I put that there so perfectly the first time? That is not what I wanted. There we go. Let's stock the fridge. Love. Oh. Lovely. Is that everything? What's that? Bell peppers? Yum. Okay. Fridge stocked. Had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Mike's in the bathroom. Woo. Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Okay. Didn't need to know. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Hang on. I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Is it safe in there? The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Bro, that actually makes me want to gag. That's so disgusting, man. Alright. Let's just empty our, empty our bladder here. Just drain, draining away the bladder. Escape to text Rick. We have arrived. Hi, we have checked in. Oh. I really wanted to um, read the messages between us and Nora. Harpy, I've been over a year since I saw your stupid face. It'll be fun, right? It'll be like the girls' trip we planned during our sophomore year. The one that never ended up happening. You, me, and Taylor? Haha, <laughs> that was such a long time ago. Why didn't we go? Baxter took her to the concert, I think. We just never tried again, you know. I can't be mad at her for not inviting us to the wedding. We all just kind of lost touch with each other. But we're going to change that this weekend. I'm so excited, but are you going to drive alone? Yeah. I've done it before. Don't worry, girl. I'll probably get there a little late, though. One of my clients wants to do a review that afternoon. You can probably tag with Mike, though, since you both live in the city. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it. We can burn up his gas. Thanks, y'all. Can't wait to give you the biggest hug. Me too. Okay. So, no strange vibes at all with Nora. Um, everything seems good. Uh, Rick hasn't replied to us checking in, but that's okay. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands. That just said, <laughs> what? <laughs> you feel better after the drive? Um, I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Wait, after me? Uh, okay. Well, this is very cozy with the log burner. Really nice. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Oh, okay. So they, they feel the same. This is a big house. Okay. Yeah, this living room is nice. It's so cozy. Oh, basement. What the? See to crouch. Oh, should we be going down here? I was hoping we were going to read this and it was going to be like a plan. A totally normal, normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell the Long Beach Kush here. Oh my god, we get it, man. You, you smoke a little bit of the marijuana, the devil's lettuce, it's okay. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. True. True. What is actually in that locked room? Okay. Oh my god, like, why are you right on my ass, man? Okay, so that's the living room. That's the basement. Oh, we can go out the back too. Wait, it's actually so cozy. <gasps> What's on the canvas? We're not allowed to see. 
Damn it. That's cute. That instantly reminded me of Little Misfortune and, um... Oh, what's his name? The Fox! Benjamin, that was it. Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin. This guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. Okay. Bait and fish pairing knowledge. All right. Sweet corn, cheese delight, maggot bait, crank bait, frozen prawns. Wooden fishing rod. I'm not sure why we need to know all that, but we've had a look. Oh, and we... Are you, are you okay, Mike? Wait, wait when it said left, left mouse button to get close, I was like, wait, what, with Mike? Yeah, I actually want to play Little Misfortune again soon, but it's, it's a hard play, you know? Such a good game, but a hard play. All right, what are we working with up here? Storage room. Okay. It's getting really cold. Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, you're here. Is that... Are you the host? You're not... That's really unprofessional. What the hell are you doing? Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What love? What a lovely young couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um... I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on, on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by to try and get it working again, since the last few folks let, let, oh, left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Bro, you literally, like, he asked us to text us when, text him when we got here. He could have just said, look, the TV is not working. I'll be here, uh, when you get here. I hope that's okay. Wait, I've just realized he has, like, two noses. He has, like, this nose, and then he has, like, this see-through nose here. He's got two noses. What do you think, Mike? Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. Oh, right now? Uh, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Mike, do you think we can take him? Post was a middle date whittle, a whittle, a whittle man, a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Well, we're only staying for two days. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Hop. This room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. What the hell's so nice about that? Are you coming, miss? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Why does Mike keep side-eyeing us over his shoulder? This is creepy. What? What are you doing? Holy smokes, this is incredible! Incredibly cold. I'm glad you folks like it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. I mean... I like the snow, but is this incredible? I... Is it? I, I, I guess... Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. 
thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Sure. Listen, no, it's not that... No, 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 I like the simpler things too. I wasn't even judging the old man. I was judging Mike. He walked out on that... Mike walked out on that balcony. He was like, this is incredible. Is Mike trying to like communicate with us without speaking? Alrighty, folks. I see he already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob. Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. <laughs> oh, sure, okay. Here's the water heater. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Why is he assuming we're worrying about what's down here and stuff? That's weird, isn't it? No access to guests. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing. You two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as a storage... Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Wait. Is that a box for a cat? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks. If I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> Jesus, Mike! He 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 he. The looks on your faces. He 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 he. Come on now, I'm just joking. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. Only a 6? Alrighty folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. I thought you were going to fix the sink and the TV. By the way, here we go. What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Is it just me, or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go, get, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Is that a laser? Gotta keep an eye on him too, chat. It's not just the creepy, creepy Airbnb guy or whatever it is. It's also this creepy guy. That guy's playing fears to fathom on his desktop. Okay, if you want, well, this morning's coffee, that's counted as one of those moments. And no, we're not going to penalize you for that, of course. But it's mainly for you that I'm doing this. It was the TV upstairs that was broken. Tina, for example, she's going through a tough time right now, but she makes the effort to come to the coffee breaks and she participates. And I can see that it's doing her good. Good rapport in the office is essential for achieving good results, and it's proven that employees who get along well work better together. Tomorrow, you'll be the happiest people in the world. By the way, next month, we'll be redistributing the teams. What the We're gonna be fuck? One big family, Mark. Fuck you, Janet. <laughs> what? Miles, what is the timing on that? 
Wait, that was actually really incredible timing. The note literally said I'm going to blow myself up and add a picture of a gun. Sorry to have disappointed you. Miles, that was impressive timing, to say the least. I'll, I'll be honest, I was actually impressed. Thank you for the bits, man. What did Janet do? That's what I'm saying. Wait, what is this store for? He didn't show us this room. <gasps> A Ouija board! Play that later. Okay, I'm gonna go take that shower. I wish we could, like, check if the door was locked, you know? Well, it's not. <laughs> Maybe we should turn this off. Oh, wow! Oh, that's not a good sign. But also, the game- Hello? Testing? One, two? The game's, like, not picking up my microphone. Which is strange. Normally it does. Unless it's just not doing it because I don't need to be quiet right now. Oh no, that's not what we need to do. We need to do this. Lovely. Hi Desiree, how are we doing? Good to see you. Hello K-Dog, hello Renegade. What's up guys? Hello Sarah K, hello Reyna. Hi Pete Ice T, hello Milky Pizza. Hi Ilion. Okay, that was a lovely shower. That was weirdly like being in the, what did you say? The Amazon rainforest or something? Are we dressed? I don't know. I guess so. Hi, Kelly F. How are you? Good to see ya. Oh! Spot of fishing? Uh... Hey, Hop. Check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Oh, let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Heck yeah! Heck yeah, we will. Heck yeah, we'll give this a shot. Jesus, that's one hell of a rod, Mike. <laughs> Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a sec. Oh, wait. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp. Though you... We'll need to catch three carp though. Are you up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check this bait information board. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's get head to the creek. We're going to catch some ha carp, harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. Common carp. We got it guys, we got it. Common carp with cheese delight or common carp with sweet corn. The thing is, if we use cheese to light, we don't have a- Oh, we do have a chance of catching a chub. I would like to use whichever bait we can catch a chub with. I guess, actually, the cheese to light has less chance of other types of fish, so let's go for the cheese to light. Look at this! Never thought I'd be fishing in a Fears to Fathom game. Gonna catch some blobfish? Yuck. Wait, I like the music. Whoa. I hope that I hope those carp are biting today. Yeah, sure. Look at that cast. Truly gorgeous. I don't like that we're crossing lines though. This is like romantic and it's not supposed to be romantic. What? Oh, it's like, Star it's like Stardew Valley fishing, but the other way around. You know, I think the old saying is right. A bad day of fishing is still better than a good day at work. Sure. Let's try that again. Wait, a first-person Stardew Valley would actually be such a good game. Oh my god, it's horrible. It's horrible to do it. But we're cracked. 
common carp. That's one. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. They always say that. I always hear them say that. Yeah, the bait's in the top right corner. You, should, you can see it up there. Wait, that's the hitchhiker! I know that shadow when I see it. That's the hitchhiker. Wow, why couldn't our, why could our first one not have been that easy? Oh, it's a bluegill. Run along, bluegill. Seeing Clint in first person make me crawl out of my skin. What hell's wrong with Clint? You mean Geo the gerbil? This has got to be a carp. It's really, it's, it's harder to catch than that last one. Give me a carp. Lovely. That's two out of three. You gonna help catch these, Mike, or is it just, it's just all, all me? Is it? Woohoo! Just got one more carp. One more carp left. You got this. Yep, I got this. How into this are we? I hope I didn't miss too much. Yeah, I missed too much. Um, we're just a group of friends away on a vacation in Vermont. And we have had a creepy, um, the person we're renting the Airbnb from or whatever is creepy. Oh! I don't need another chub. I've already got one. I'm going to put you back. Give us a, give us a, what is it? A common carp. Give us a common carp. Lovely. That's all three. All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw the, those in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. I don't want to stay here. That creeps, that creepy hitchhiker's around. And he was, he threatened us last time we saw him. I was talking about my sweet little chihuahua miso chat. Oh, sorry about that, Mike. Why should the woman do the cooking? Yeah, did you also no notice that, um... What was that noise? Uh, did you also notice that we, um... Wait, are we not supposed to... That'll do. That's fine. We also had to put all the way, uh, put, uh, put away all the, all the stuff in the fridge as well, the groceries. Wait, why is the, f while I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt on it. Did you leave the fridge open or? Okay, we need a, we need a mixing bowl. Oh, salt, black pepper. Okay, salt, salt. That's Italian seasoning. Is that going in there? Yes. What's that? Ginger paste. That's going in there. Uh, paprika. Yes. So that's pepper. Salt. Olive oil and yogurt. Olive oil and yogurt. Yogurt. Is that yogurt? What's the yogurt look like? Frozen yogurt, does that work? Yeah. Oh, I can't close the fridge. Don't like that. Wait. Do you mind throwing the fi Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies on it? Two carps, marinade, veggies. Oh, stinks. Wait, two carps? I thought we needed three. Marinade on it. Veggies. Now could you add the veggies? Uh, I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400. That's what I was doing if you would just give me a chance. I can't, I can't put the milk back. That's gonna have to do. Um, where are the veggies? The bell peppers maybe? Oh, right, you've already chopped them. My bad. Delightful. Three, 430 minutes, 340 minutes, something like that. We got it. Those carps are going to be amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? 
I saw some in the room next to the living room. Um, oh, yes. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw someone in, I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Guys, we're going to get to do the Ouija board. Yeah, I noticed he was backseating the cooking too. Okay. Oh, we're going to do the Ouija board. We got it. Mike, come on Ouija with me. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Holly once told me she contacted her dead grandma through one of those boards. Yeah, and we're going to use it right now. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's rude. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down here? That's a great idea. All right, let's go. That is a great idea, if I ever heard one. It's the first time Mike's been confident enough to lead the way as well. Watch out for spiders down here. Gross. Sorry, spiders. You're cute, but just don't... Just please don't touch me. Good idea. Good idea. Let's put it on the table. Great idea, Mike. You know what will make this even spookier? What? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. But how are you gonna see what it's saying if all the lights are off. But great idea, all this. Okay, I can't turn that one off. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Uh, yes. All right then, you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Do you want us to leave? Can you see us? Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? F. L. What? A. M. Yes. What? Flamias? Whispers. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me! Maybe they want us to cook flan. Whispers. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. F? What? R? What? This is... What? This is the worst Ouija board ever. Ghost boy, click. What? What? Um, Cinderella, thank you so much for the 17 months. Did you live in this house? Is this like glitched or something? Are we supposed to be able to read this? <laughs> My turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Ja! Holy crap! What the hell? What the hell? Mike, wait for me! I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. I'm, I'm panicking. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. You okay, Mike? You left me for dead. Did you want to talk about that? There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you'd move your ass too. It would have been nice if you would have checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Honestly, whatever. Like, so unimpressed with that. It's incredible. I'm gonna turn the lights back on down here. So a noise came from this door and he just freaked out and ran away. Honestly, yeah. It's just a ghost. Chill. What a baby. That's what I'm saying. What, you never seen a ghost before? I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Let's do it. But don't think I've forgiven you. In fact, I'm going to shame you all the way to the sofa. Shame. 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 
Yeah, that's right. Oh, you want me to sit next to you? I'm... I have to. Okay. Wait. You only... Where's my food? Oh, do you expect me to put the TV on or something? It's... This delicacy is very popular in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Make sure peace my way. Burning tires. A lot of salt. Mm. Salt is good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna taste like shit. But here you are. This is anyway, not what the baking stream would be like. Don't. Instructions. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. We we got to inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the. Why do you say cook it like that? Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start. Why did he sound like he was climaxing when he said cooking? Gasoline soaked ramen. Now this I can't dish look away. is I can't extremely look away. hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. Guys, this is Requires not going to be my baking stream. It'd be skill. way more professional than this. What you will need is gasoline and ramen. This dish really soothes the soul. Almost like a cayenne cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline Chat. into this. Do pot. not make this at home, man. Make sure man. not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use 2% or half and half. Do not use diesel. So after letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um, uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Uh, uh, damn, that's burnt. Uh, I I I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! No, no, it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Ugh. Bye, Grandma. Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get back in there. Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways. What is going on? I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is what? ready to serve. I hope oh, it was, I thought it was a car pulling up. As much as I will. Let's eat! Cooking with Jeffrey. Wait, there is a car outside. I don't know if I'm supposed to go and get my food or something. This guy's just been sat there with his food the whole time. It's impossible to look away. I, I had the same problem. Oh, I need to grab a plate. Oh, sugar. Oops. There we go. Knife and fork. I guess we're not using them today. Here you are, Mike. Did I miss our show? I'm so sorry. Oh no, now we have to listen to it in silence. Mike, what's wrong? You've barely touched your...
common cop. Is everything okay? <laughs> He's just rubbing his two fingers on it. He's literally rubbing his two fingers on the fish and sniffing them. I was done with it. Hop, that was some damn fine food. Yeah, it looked like you really enjoyed it. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was really good. We make a great team, Harp. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. I left my laptop upstairs. I thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on... I'm wait, waiting on shipment details for my new DS. These... These... Shriveled balls? I'll be right back. Alright, I'll clean up. Okay, I'll do the dishes until then. Wow, okay, I guess I'll... Yeah, I guess I'll clean up as well. Sure. You enjoy up there doing your emails, Mike. Don't worry about us us mere peasants down here on holiday doing everything. I just walked into shriveled balls. Oh don't worry, there wasn't there wasn't really any context. I, I can't really explain. Oh, the eating sound is horrible. It's like unbearable. But it wasn't as bad as the pizza place. The pizza the pizza place was too much. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. We don't actually have to do anything. So this is all the people that keep asking if people, how the people in the UK wash their dishes. This, this is it. We run the tap on them and we just lift them up and down and up and down and then we put them on the side. We should close that. I feel. Can I really not put the milk back in the fridge? That's kind of bugging me. Okay. Yes! That works. Michael J. Carter. I think someone's under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Bro, if he's led naked on the bed, I swear I'm, I'm fucking stealing that truck and I'm driving home. Don't make sounds. Walk slow. He's gonna jump out at us, isn't he? <laughs> I, li I literally knew it was coming as well. What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? No. It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Oh, that sounds like a good idea after everything. That sounds like a good idea. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Oh, wait, I'm hiding? Oh, I decided to hide in the basement. We don't actually get to make the choice. I did not clutch my pearls. I don't know why you're saying that. That didn't happen. Oh my god. This is the spot. This is the spot right here. Oh my god. Are we gonna watch him die? Come on now. I know you're in there. you okay to be fair fair play like what what a what a good find i'm actually impressed he got me that wasn't even a challenge i figured you would be good at this i figured you'd be good at this since i never find you in the city maybe you need to look harder all right my turn to hide now you better close your eyes and start counting <laughs> 
No, it won't let me follow him. Okay. I was just gonna follow him the whole way. Wait, one Mississippi? They count like that in America too? That's how I count in the UK. But they don't even have a Mississippi in America. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Oh, I'm coming. Daddy's home, or whatever they say. Well, actually, we're playing a Sydney. It'd be Mummy's home, I guess. Okay, not behind the shower curtain. Yo, is this the new Animal Crossing song? That's actually pretty cool. Okay, not in there. Where the hell is this guy? Like, he can't be in here, right? Because... Oh, well, this door wasn't shut before, so you got to be in this closet over here. Oh, it was too obvious. We got your mic. Nice try, buddy. Got ya. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this... I see this attic access door in here. What? Couldn't reach it without the step tool. Are you going to check it out? You're taller than me, why don't you go? Why does he want us to do everything all the time? You do it, Mike! I think uh, my shoulder's too broad to fit through there, Sydney. But one of us really should look. Oh my... Mods, we got a code four. Code four in chat. Can we please get a timeout on Carbon Trap 10 with the realistic knocking sound alert? That's actually a, that's actually a really good sound alert for this game because genuinely I feel like someone's going to knock on the door any second. Thank you for the bits. I really appreciate it. Um, and it also seems like you scared a lot of people in chat. Um... One of us really should look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Oh. <laughs> Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool. Step stool behind you and climb up. Okay, fine. Whatever. If you're a coward, just say so. Wait. Step. Step stool? What is this? Oh, right, it's there. I don't know why the mic meter isn't working. I don't know if it's just been turned off for these scenes, or like... It's... Just not working in this game. <gasps> oh, it's the cat. We did see a cat box downstairs. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hi. Wait, they're actually really cute. We're petting them right now. You can't see it, but we are petting them, I promise, chat. They're enjoying the petting. Is there a light switch up here? Also, why is the cat locked up here? Why are you locked up here, little baby? Why? Is this a, is this a bed? Someone's been living up here? Okay, well, not to worry. It's just a cat. Hopefully, we can bring the cat down with us or something. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Uh, looks like you aren't the only pussy in this house. I like it. What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Um, I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the car pops, right? After I come find you again. Okay, all right. Golf Yo, boy, lace quick. hearted. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Wait, that's a good spot. Lace hearted, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for the follows as well. I guess if you're new to the stream, don't forget to follow. It's free and it supports me and it means you won't miss future streams. 
I, I tried to prompt it to get us to feed the cat, but it made us play hide and seek again instead. This isn't really a great spot. Let's turn the lights out. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Is something bad gonna happen to him? Wait. Did someone just move in the house or am I tripping? Did you, did you guys just see someone move over there? Was it? Something did move. There's a car outside. There you are, but I'm hiding in the corner, you can't even see me. Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close the close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Okay, whatever. Any messages? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Ready or not, here we come. Because that creepy ass hitchhiker was around, chat. We saw him when we were fishing. I know it was him. I just know it. I saw the silhouette and I knew it was him. But not to worry. They're dirt cheap as well. So come on down to Larry's. What's up, Jade? Welcome in. Hello, Clangs. And get yourself the deal of a lifetime. Wait, are those noises on the TV? I hope he hasn't gone in here. You're under the stairs? You're not, okay. Where are you? Where are you? That's a banger. I mean, he couldn't just go hide in his truck, right? That'd be cheating. Oh, what about in here? On the balcony? Wait, why is there a stepladder up to this roof and balcony? That's not good. That's not good. Wait, we've we been playing this game for two hours, chat? No way. I don't believe that. Wait, I've been live for three hours? Guys, I'm not joking. I feel like I've been live for like an hour and a half max. <laughs> Did this guy... What's going on? What happened? Did this guy come back in a change of clothes? Well, well, hey there. Why the hell are you in here again? Rick, why are you back? What are you doing with that hammer? I'm fixing the faucet! You got a problem with that? <laughs> yeah, you should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Bros put his hand on his hips! I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? I don't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple of minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been the old lady. Remember? <laughs> Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asked me to leave, mess? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and we'd like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please, let me handle this. 
Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. This guy's the king of gaslight. You know what? If you folks if you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Good job reading the room, buddy. Let's follow him, Mike. Let's make sure he actually leaves the house. Leave. 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 You got my back, Mike? Not really. Don't come back either. Isn't that faucet a sink? I always thought a faucet was a sink. Is it a toilet? Oh yeah, he did say the sink was broken up there, I'm pretty sure. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to, to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Yo, Soggy Tissue, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Welcome in, raiders. If you don't know me, my name is Koji. Uh, my pronouns are he and him, and we're playing some horror games right now. I hope you had a lovely stream, and thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for raiding. I, I really appreciate it. Wait, what is going on? What? Why does it feel like everything's blurry like this? Are we high? Who's knocking on the? The fuck is going on? It's the middle of the night. Hello? Mike, what are you doing? Harp, are you still awake? It's hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Thank you for the follows, guys. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. Thank you so much. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. Yeah, it's really gotten pretty bad. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Okay. Wait, what, what do we even say to that? What? You haven't kept us safe once. All he's done is ask us to do everything while he just hides away. And the one time there was a slight sign of danger, he fucking legged it and left us down where the danger was. What's he talking about? It's all in his shoulders. He's just carrying the weight of the world on his broad ass shoulders. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee chat, I'll be right back. If you haven't taken your meds with your vitamins and it's an appropriate time to do so, you should go and do that right now, okay? I'm gonna go pee. Make sure you got water and snacks and stuff. Don't drink as much tea as me because then you'll just be peeing all the time. I've had six cups of tea today and it's only 5 p.m. That's ridiculous. Okay, sorry about that chat. I went to go get myself a nice cold can of drink. And you guys, you know what? You can scatter away. But guess what? I'm not streaming again until Sunday. So you guys scattering now? Just remember that. Remember that when I was here, you scattered on me, chat. Now you better assemble in chat. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so good. Okay. Should we just find Sydney? Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Um, what? That's okay. That's nice of you, Mike. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say what, actually. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you leave my room? <laughs> Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Yeah, you're doing the same thing. I wish you would just cut it out. I thought you may be scared in here by yourself. Okay, can you fucking... I mean, I am a little freaked out. What the fuck are you... What the fuck are you doing? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Oh, you want to sleep in this room? Uh, we'll go sleep in the other room. No worries. Leaving me already, Sydney? Jesus, what's... I just want to sleep. I just want to go to sleep for the night. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no. We actually have to sit here? No. Door stays open. Hop. You know... <laughs> I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. You know... You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. <laughs> He's worse than the fucking landlord. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Oh no. Oh my god, Nora. SOS please. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Which of these options makes this stop? Because I, the meaning to talk to you one could actually go really wrong. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. Oh my it's god. Snowing. She's pulled a... Uh, pull, pull, pull. Bump pulled a hickey. And Whatever I'm you on say, the chat. Side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> the hell is a lug nut? I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? On route. You're doing me a favor. Trust me. Mike was fucking creeping on me, Nora. Let's... I can't get up. What a... What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. What a shame. I was literally, Mike, I was just about to just, like, fall to my knees uh, and... Wait, that's... I meant, like, swoon because you were so charming is what I meant. That sounded really bad. Um... You missed out on that. I, uh, let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. <clears throat> That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. I'm just gonna not say anything. We can say please be careful, but I'm just gonna dot dot dot. Well, oh, we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to, like, <laughs> read between the lines. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? If you feel like we have to talk about this later, but I don't feel like I need to talk about it. Okay? Man, he was literally two minutes away from getting the best BJ ever. <laughs> I couldn't have... <laughs> I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash out for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Hug? Not now, Mike. I should go to sleep. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're... He really is a... Can I, can I get a hug guy? He's, he's like hug guy energy. Just like... Just go away. You're like a, like a leech. Just like... I kind of need one right now. Why do you need a hug? Our friend is broken down in the snow on their own. What are you talking about? I should go to sleep now. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Okay. Whatever. Jesus, my god. 
thing is, we need him to come back safe because we need... We need Nora to be safe. Okay, wait. We should actually lock the doors, though. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, there's no lock option as... Uh, uh, there's no lock option, so... I've known guys like this. Oh, God. So many people like this. Can I get a hug, guys? I told myself things would be better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. How could you sleep right now though? Like your friend's broken down. This weirdo creeps trying to hit on you. The landlord keeps turning up in the house. There was some kind of ghost in the basement. Oh. The truck's not here, guys. The truck is not here. I repeat, the truck is not here. No truck. No truck. It's the, it's the hitchhiker. The realization that someone was outside the house this late at night was horrific. We're gonna go back to bed. Wait, we have to on we have to open it? Like what about our safety? What the uh. Hello Look friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. If you if you're just joining the stream, there was a hitchhiker earlier that asked us for a lift when we pulled over at a pizza place. We unfortunately couldn't give him a lift because there was no room in the van. Things got a little bit hostile, he kinda threatened us, kinda didn't, it was very weird. And now he's turned up at the house. But we saw him earlier when we were fishing in the back garden, creeping in the shadows. I'm very sure it's... I mean, it is him because he's saying friend again. It's definitely him. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. You're not coming in. End of story. Well, sure, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Facts. Tell them. I should have known you'd be as big as a bigger bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? Like what? Why are you calling me a bitch for? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I knew it was him. I knew it was him, chat. I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still... unkind. A chance for what, man? You're knocking on my house at one o'clock in the morning. You think I'm just gonna let you in? Like... And you're gaslighting me about being a bad person for not letting you in? Get out or I'll call the cops. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of... I don't see a fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. He's still there. But let me tell you something. He's shouting. He's shouting from the door. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Calm as a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Bro, Sydney is so much more stronger-minded than I am. I would genuinely, I'd be, I'd be on the phone to my friends. I'd say we're leaving the city and we're never coming back. Uh, I'd already be halfway home at this point. Sydney, what's our name? Guys, I can't get out of the bed. Uh. 
Wait, someone's throwing snowballs at our window. At this point, I had no choice but to call to help. Rick, I'm sorry to bo I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? We don't want to text our friends. They've been missing for a long time. Like, we don't want to see where they're at, whether they're coming, like... Everything good? I'm confused. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The, the guy, the, the hitchhiker is probably friends with the landlord. Cadence, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. What the flip? What the frick? The landlord's here. K Cadence, thank you so much. That is so generous. K Cadence, can you just clarify in chat? Is this a meow meow experience or is this just 10 gifted subs for the sake of 10 gifted subs? Oh no, the alerts broke. One sec. Oh, did they stop already? Why did the 10 gifted sub that look keep breaking like that? Um, open the door. Open the door, miss. It's me. Uh, what? Uh, how do we know it wasn't the fucking landlord outside throwing snowballs at our window, to be honest? He <laughs> K Cadence, thank you so much again for the 10 gifted subs. And Zoid Gunt, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate it. Any Primers? We did call for help, but we don't... Firstly, he got here awfully quick. Secondly, he could have been the freak outside throwing slow balls at the window. I mean, we have to open it now, otherwise he's going to get really mad, right? I, uh... Please don't meow meow, I will cry. Understood. Wait, what's that in your hand? What the hell's going on here? Rick... Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. Um, well, uh, Cadence, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. That is incredibly generous. And if you got gifted a sub chat, please remember to say thank you. And um, can we please also get some, some love in the chat there? Because that is so incredibly generous. Thank you. Okay, so we just explained the situation to him. Says, yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Wait, where's the lights? Like, why is it... Why is it so dark? Why are you following me? Wait, what do you mean I wouldn't worry about him anymore? Why are you following me like that? What the fuck is happening? Why are your lips right in my face? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who you were with earlier? He went to pick up our other friend. Hmm. So you're, so you're alone right here right now, huh? Yes, but my friends will be back soon. Yippee! Guys, what's, what's going on? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Yeah, yourself included. This is very cute, but I'm also so on edge. I know, it's almost a nice relief from everything that's... Guys, why is Rick Wilson texting us right now? Come back over, what do you mean? I live in Burlington, I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Who the fuck is this... Strange little man in my house! Help me! We're just juking him around the table again and again! <laughs> Ha 
still didn't feel safe opening the door. Are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean you don't feel safe opening the door? There's a maniac. Chat, that is incredibly inappropriate. Okay, I don't know what has happened. I think we glitched him out when we were juking him so well around that table. I, uh, like, at this point, I, I, like, am I supposed to get him to follow us? Everything okay, miss? Yeah? Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? Our only option was to confront. This is my fucking house! I will leave when I want to! You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. You can't have your cake and eat it too, buddy. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. I think it meant... Th Don't sound good. Koji, shall I call someone for you? Teresa, man? All right, but I'm sending reinforcements. You're about an hour fucking oh, late, man. No, what I'm what do you mean, should you, you call someone? Me. I'm dead. Dude hit the Usain Bolt. He teleported through a door and hit us over the head with a hammer. Wait, we have to play this all again. I'm not opening the door. Wait, I, I don't know if we'll be able to progress if we don't open the door though. I don't know how we're gonna get past this bit. Open the door, miss, it's me. I'm not opening the door. Guys, I think I think we have to let him in though. You are some meow meows. Um Cadence said not to meow, but Camethyst. Quick question, Camethyst, I see you in the chat. Was your 10 gifted subs for a ooh meow meow experience? Yes or no? Just gonna get clarification before we let Rick up in this house. Oh, sorry guys. Really quickly before we let Rick in. I gotta do some hot boy shit. I'm in high demand at the moment. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about the Iwi Miyama experience, but it's something that's selling like hotcakes up here in the moment and uh, catch it's taking over Twitch. Everyone's copying it, everyone's doing it. It's uh, it's just something that, um, it's just some hot boy shit I'm working on. So, um, <coughs> Camethyst, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Thank you, you, so much for the ten meow meows. <laughs> I heart you, you. <laughs> I 
Hey, what's up, Mike? Good to see you. No, your name's not Mike, is it? What the hell's going on here? Uh, what are you saying, babe? Rick, I'm so glad you came. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. Hey. Oh, so you can hear me. Sorry, yeah. That was one I wouldn't worry about points. him anymore. He got your ass after you didn't save me from Jazawu. Your death is on my hands. All your nine lives has been lost, Catboy. I'm not a has-been. Don't ever call me a has-been again. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. Yeah, my friends will be back soon. No biggie. No, no free meows for my neighbors today. The windows are shut. It's fucking freezing today. Um, thank you so much, by the way, for the um, 100 bits. Appreciate it. And thank you to whoever played that sound alert. Sorry, my chat is paused. There you go. So, storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Yeah, you're one of them, man. You're one of them. We know you're one of them. Looking over the fire, hunched over with a hammer, like we know. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. It's my friends. They're almost here. Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. Guys, he's so close to us. How are we going to run away from him? I don't understand. You need to leave right now. Guys, this is literally the fastest I can run. I don't understand. I don't... How am I supposed to run away from him if he runs to the door? Then that's the where, where we need to go to get to the quiet rooms. Because the only rooms you can hide in with the... Oh, I... I could go to the basement. I forgot about the basement one. I don't think there's any different chat options we can do. I think the chat options are, are the same every time. I, I think that is the loudest noise in the world. I agree. He's so... He like fucking leaps at us. He genuinely, like, flies through the air at us. Okay, speed run this time. Come on in. The, the, the fire's hot and the fish is... The fish is... The fish is fried. Whatever. The fish is oven baked. It's all yours. Rick. Glad to have you here. Honestly, it's such a pleasure. Okay, let's get on this side of him this time. I know we can't just go and hide, because last time I tried that, nothing happened. We had to come back down and speak to him again. Us. Okay, I don't know why my microphone's not working in this game, but it's fine. I would just be- I would just be a silent streamer anyway. I would just be silent. Wait, guys. I can think of a really unique ending in this game. What if the monster or the ghost or wherever it is in the basement comes out and kills this imposter and saves us? To be honest, I've never had the fears to fathom microphone thing not work before. This is the first time for me. We're breathing so loud! This would be that moment where you get that tickle in your throat and you just, like, desperately need to call- Shift to sprint, it's not for me. Bro, I'm holding shift and I'm literally- I'm holding shift 
Jesus. I'm literally going like I'm one mile an hour. Jesus. Like, it let us run for like one second and then we just stopped running. I don't understand. Holy fuck, that noise is so loud. But the less, I, I don't think I can turn it down, chat, because the rest of the game isn't too loud, right? Oh, wait, hiding in the basement is a chapter to save. It's okay. It's okay. It's like those nightmares where you try to run and you can't. Yeah, like when you need to... Wait, my microphone's... Friends keep getting us killed by ringing our fucking phone. Like, what am I supposed to do? We can't even text back. Chat, I, I, I. St <gasps> Chat, I started laughing because my wrist clicked when I was hiding in the cupboard, and it, it, the microphone spiked when my wrist clicked. I was just thinking, God, I'm such a rickety old ship. I forgot where the attic. I forgot where the attic is. Hey. supposed to do though actually now like uh, yeah we can go up to the attic but but why we're just gonna hide up there i guess mm. oh. okay that is enough sorry that's nearly that's just my impatience okay we have to wait for him to go into the other room i guess um, thank you so much. To everyone playing Sound Alerts, thank you for the bits. Very evil, but very generous, and I appreciate
Hello, chat. Hello. Oh, we're free. <gasps> Hi, baby. Why, can, why is this the lowest we can crouch? Like, this is the, the highest crouch I've ever seen in my life. I just got talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. What are we supposed to do? Goth boy, click. Steph D, thank you so much for the 40... Wait, 44 months. Holy. Holy guacamole. Thank you so much. I don't know, like... Okay. Are we supposed to... Okay, we turn the light on. Are we supposed to go downstairs? Because the front door is broken. It's unopenable now, at least from our side. Back door might still be open. Why are we texting our friends? I don't know. We can't seem to text them. Like... Can't seem to send messages to any of these. So I think we have to go back down and just somehow survive. to the ladder out here? No, I think we have to go downstairs. Fuck, that would have been the perfect escape. Everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. Sus. It's probably Rick's brother. We think he knew more than he was letting on. Because why did that guy know about, like, everything? He knew the whole house. He knew about the, the weird room in the basement. He had the key for the weird room in the basement. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. I think that's the only game that's ever jump scared me by a door being kicked down like that. That was actually a really good jump scare. Survive through the fifth episode. It was Palfu in the car. I mean, it had to be, right? Wait, news reporter, I'm Dontai, Queso. Uh, Nora VA, Lily. Mike VA, DC Smith. Damn, that's so cool. So there is a couple of people working on it. It's not just a one person. 
person game. There is multiple people working on it. A game by Rail Studios. Damn, that was so good though. I, I really enjoyed that. Wait, the police are questioning. Thank you for playing Fears to Fathom. I feel like there were still some unanswered questions that I don't really understand. Where's the hitchhiker? I, I want to know more. I want to know more. It was quite a long episode too. Yeah, I, I feel like they're all... Uh, that was what? Like two and a half? Two and a half hours? Um, well, hey, if you were watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, Jay Naray, thank you so much for the 30 months. I really appreciate it. I feel like they're usually about two hours by YouTube. I think the guy killed the hitchhiker. Wait, you're right, because there was a massive scream outside... And then the snowball hit our window when we were in bed. It was interesting both the intruder and hitchhiker said there was no cops around there. Yeah, but then there was the scream. What would happen if you let the hitchhiker in? I don't know if the games have multiple endings. I don't- I feel like Fears to Fathom games don't have multiple endings. I can't remember. Let's see what happens when we let the hitchhiker in, just- just out of curiosity. Because I think that- I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door, I'm freezing out here. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door, I'm freezing out here. Oh! We can't! Hello? Look, friend, I know you're in there. We can't let them in. Uh... Was there never an option to let them in? I feel like there was. I guess I just imagined it. I guess we just, like, considered it an option, but it wasn't really an option. Interesting. You need to watch the clip. This one? Mike in the house? Back door's open. <laughs> Wait, there's too much going on. I need to close the game in the background. It's too much. Okay. My neck's actually starting to get better, chat. So hopefully today hasn't, hasn't set us back. The music's so dramatic! <laughs> Jesus, man. That is actually- that's genuinely a really good jump scare because there's no point where I thought that door was gonna get kicked down. I thought we were just gonna open the door and be like, guys, there was someone here. Back door's open. <laughs> it just all happened so fast, and then he's just there, like. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, that was so good, man. That was really good. Uh, what the, the fuck is? Well, I guess there was a couple of good jump scares in this game, chat. I guess there was.